guys. Hey, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Okay, this is end of the video KK here coming in <laughs> to do a quick little intro because of course, as you know, by the title of this video, this is a palette comparison or palette showdown of a lesser expensive palette compared to a more expensive palette. And the two palettes that I'm comparing today are the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette and the Colored Rain and Power collab palette. They are both beautiful purple palettes and this is the eye look that I created today. Okay, so I just want you guys to quickly pause the video, take a look at both of these eye looks, and comment down below and let me know which one you think is which. What side is the color pop? It's my pleasure. And what side is the colored rain and power collab? Let your girl know. And don't be trying to cheat either, okay? Don't be going to the end trying to cheat. Just guess, okay? <laughs> I want to see how many of you guys get it right. So let's just jump into this video. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Okay, so I finally decided I wanted to sit down and play in my new Colored Rain and Power Collab eyeshadow palette. This gorgeous, gorgeous purple themed palette. Okay, it is so stinking beautiful. But being someone who loves purples and blues, I know that I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that are either purple themed or have purple in them. So I sat down and I was kind of looking at my purple palettes and looking at this one and just trying to figure out, do I already have this palette, you know, basically in one palette. And so I was just kind of going through my palettes and some of the ones that I was kind of comparing them to, I wanted to just show you some swatches of this colored rain palette against those palettes just in case you're kind of thinking eh, it's a beautiful palette but do i already have that palette do i already have similar shades can i pass on it now this colored rain and power palette ran me 29 dollars on their website and i don't remember if there was a discount code i don't think there was but anywho it was 29 dollars so let me just show you a visual of some of the palettes that I have that I'm going to show swatches of. Now, the first palette that came to my mind is the Ace Beauty Paradise palette. This is a Paradise Fallen palette that they came out with, I don't know, over a year ago. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful purple palette. And this is actually one of my favorite purple palettes. It goes really deep, really dark. So I like that about this. And it kind of has a blue feel to it. Now, this is the Colored Rain palette. As you can see, it looks like maybe that super dark purple shimmer. And maybe one of the mattes might be kind of similar to this palette. But other than that, they're very different palettes. This Ace Beauty palette does not have the beautiful, shiny duochromes that are in the Colored Rain palette. So I wouldn't say that these palettes are comparable at all. And I'll go ahead and insert some swatches just for you to see. Okay, and these are swatches of the Colored Rain and Power collab palette on top and the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen palette on the bottom. Now, the next palette that I thought about is my Pretty Poison palette. Now, this palette, oh my gosh, you guys, so freaking gorgeous. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get this palette anymore because it was on the Bad Habit website. And this was, is this a Bad Habit palette or Face Candy? Yeah, this was actually a Bad Habit palette. You got look at this packaging. Okay, bomb. <laughs> But yeah, these shadows in this palette, so stinking pretty. Now this palette does have a lot of similar shades to this Power Collab palette with Colored Rain. You can kind of just see that by looking at it, but I'll go ahead and insert some swatches for you as well. So this is really just for those of us who was able to purchase this Pretty Poison palette from the Bad Habit website, because like I said, bad habit is no more <laughs> so i'll go ahead and insert some swatches on these two compared okay and once again we have the power and colored rain collab on top 
and we have the bad habit pretty poison on the bottom and of course you know i had to go ahead and drag out my 39s from morphe okay this is that one giant beautiful gorgeous amazing <laughs> purple and pink tone palette that they came out with okay so you know there are definitely some similar shades between these two palettes a lot for me to compare it to a lot for me to take away from so i'm just going to insert some swatches of shades from the morphe palette that i think are close to this nine pan colored rain palette okay and these are swatches of the colored rain on top and what I feel are somewhat similar shades in the Morphe 39S palette swatched on the bottom. The 39S palette is super large, so I did not swatch all of the shadows, but just kind of try to find some similar ones to compare to this palette. Okay, so now that we got those palettes out of the way, <laughs> Now, I wanted to do like a little bit of a showdown because I have two nine pan palettes here to test out and play with today on different sides of my eyes. And I felt like the shadows in the color pop, it's my pleasure. If you're not familiar, <laughs> where you been, first of all, <laughs> but if you're not familiar with the color pop monochromatic type palettes, this is the purple one that they came out with. A while back now they just came out with a lilac one that is not this one okay i don't know what they doing over there but now they got a lilac one but this is the purple one called it's my pleasure and this is what she looks like oh y'all this palette is so stinking pretty look at that oh my gosh so gorgeous but when i was looking at this palette i was like wait hold up it's some shades in there that are very, very close, very similar, very kind of in the same, I can make my eye look like that too, <laughs> kind of a vibe, okay? So these are the two palettes that I'm going to do this kind of showdown with today and just see what's happening. Now, let me go ahead and insert some swatches of these two palettes compared to each other. So this is the colored rain eyeshadow palette on top and the color pop. It's my pleasure on the bottom. Okay. Now, so from doing those swatches, I kind of got to feel that the main colors that are similar are these ones here, kind of in this seven formation from the Colored Rain palette. So I'm going to be using these five shades from the Colored Rain, a couple of crease colors and some beautiful lid colors and inner corner pop. Now, the colors that I feel like are similar from this ColourPop palette are the ones that are kind of in this L formation right here from the middle and across. So I'm going to be using these as crease colors, and then I'm going to go ahead and use, oh, and this one as well, of course, the dark purple, but I'm going to be using these shades also kind of like for my inner corner as well as on my lids. And I'm going to try and create a similar look and just kind of see how I feel about it. Now, this is my first time using this Color Rain and Power palette, so other than the swatches feeling absolutely amazing. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to perform on my eyes, so we're going to find out together. Now, I am familiar with the ColourPop. It's my pleasure. I like it a lot. Very nice ColourPop formulation. So we're just going to jump right in, okay, because I've been talking enough. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I already have on just like base makeup. I'm going to go ahead and prep my lid with my... Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and then we'll jump right in. Oh, and also, I am using um, similar brushes, very, very similar brushes on each side. So these brushes are very similar. I have a set for each side, and I'm ready to get going, y'all. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, so I have my lids prepped and ready to go. I did not set them with any type of powder. So this is going to be the Colored Rain side over here on my right 
and this is going to be my ColourPop side over here on my left, okay? So let's just jump right in. So the first color on the Colored Rain side I'm gonna go into is going to be Deception, which is this matte shade here. And I'm just taking a bit of this on my BH Cosmetics Fluffy Brush. It's very pretty. It's blending out very easily. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there. Now, after seeing that on my lid, I've kind of changed my mind as far as the ColourPop shade because on my lid, it looks a little bit darker to me than I thought it was going to be. So I was going to go in with this shade here, but I think I'm going to use this shade up here. Unfortunately, there's some glitter specks in that one. So hopefully you won't be able to see that too much on my eye. And that one is the shade Pretty Cruel. Yeah, I can see the glitter on there a little bit. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I can see it just a little. It's not too, too bad. So I'm just going to build this up just a bit so that I can get it as close to that color as possible. But these colors are very close. Okay, you guys, so both of those shadows are really nice to work with, easy to blend out. I am preferring the colored rain side a little bit, but let's move on. Okay, so next I wanna deepen my crease just a little bit more. So I'm going to go into Testify, this beautiful deep purple matte shade here. And I'm going in with a little bit of a smaller fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to, ooh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to concentrate that in my crease area. Whoa, that didn't look as dark in the mirror as it does on the camera. Sheesh, gorgeous. Okay, very, very pretty. I like that. Nice. Ooh, this color rain palette, y'all. It's bomb. It's so bomb. Okay, and for ColourPop, <laughs> the only shade that I have in here that's even close to that is going to be this one here at the bottom, which is Sleeper. So I'm going to use this down here on the ColourPop side. Okay, ColourPop. Okay. Add just a little bit more. Mm. There's some pigment there. Now I'm just going to take the fluffy brush from the ColourPop side as well just to kind of help it blend, blend the lighter shade into the darker shade. Even though I'm comparing the two, I do want to try and make them as equal as possible. So now I'm taking the Colored Rain brush and just trying to blend those two colors together. They're both gorgeous, but this color rain side, Lord have mercy. Ooh. Okay, so now that I have my crease colors down, I wanna play around with some of the colors or the shimmers for my lid. So I'm gonna start out with this beautiful, beautiful shade here, which is Truth. So this dark purple shimmer, Truth, I'm going to place that on the outer portion of my lid. And although I don't think it needs it at all, I am going to spray my brush. Yeah, I actually think this color does better without spraying the brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. 
Now, although these palettes are both nine pan palettes and the Colored Rain palette is $29 and the Color Pop palette is $12, which is less than half of the Colored Rain. The Colored Rain does have more product in it. It is 12.5 grams, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And the Color Pop, I believe, is nine grams. So even though the Colored Rain is more than twice as much as the Color Pop, you don't get twice as much product. So it kind of comes down to quality and pocketbook. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, and so for the ColourPop side, I'm going into the dark purple shimmer on here and it is called Chiclet. And once again, I am going to spray my brush. Okay, so that side is very pretty as well. I don't know, it doesn't have as much like iridescence. I don't know. Y'all have to tell me in the comments because y'all know I'm blind right now and I got these bright lights in my eyes, but I don't know. I feel like the colored rain side might have a little bit more pop to it, but they're both gorgeous. Okay, and so right next to that dark purple, I'm going to go in with the shade Respect, which is this kind of duochrome shimmery shade here. And I'm going to put that right next to the dark purple. That's pretty. I'm going to go back in with no spray. Okay, and on the ColourPop side, I'm gonna go into this center shade here, which is Earth Shine. Very, very pretty, similar shade. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, ColourPop might've won that one, okay? Whoa. That popped like right out the gate. I mean, the colored rain is pretty, but the color pop, mm, mm, hello. <laughs> okay, now the last shade for my lid is kind of tricky with these two palettes because I really, really want to use this color here that looks like white in the power palette, but it's not white, y'all. It is not white. It's like a kind of like an iridescent duochrome type situation. It kind of looks like a light lavender and you probably can't really see that, but yeah, it is, it's not white. It's duochrome-y, but in the ColourPop palette, there really isn't anything that is similar to that because this shade that I already used is pretty bright. So that might be the closest to it. Um, in this shade here, this shade up here has a little bit too much purple and this shade down here is, I don't know, I might be able to use that one. That one has a little bit of a, kind of like a brown shift to it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use this one from the ColourPop side, even though it's not exactly the same as the color Rain. We just gonna have to try to get close today, okay? <laughs> so that shade is called Legacy. This shade right here, Legacy. You guys see that? It looks white in the pan, but when you put this baby on your eyes and blend it out, it is not white. It kind of has like a pinky purple shift to it. Okay, so from the ColourPop palette, I think the closest I'm going to get is Mr. Sandman right here. So I'm going to use that on my inner corner on the ColourPop side. Okay, so that shade is a little bit different. It does have that beautiful iridescence to it, but it's not as pinky toned as the Colored Rain side. 
So on this side, the ColourPop side, it's pretty, but it doesn't have that same pink pop to it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some eyeliner before I finish up my lower lash line. And this eyeliner is from ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. And this is the shade Piggy Bank. And y'all, I'm surprised I'm not having like any fallout issues with either side. Okay, so for lower lash line, I'm going back into this dark shade here, testify on the colored rain side and place that on to smoke out my lower lash line. And for color pop, I'm going back into sleeper and use that on my lower lash line on this side. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Why do I love purple so much? It's so pretty. And since I don't really have a matching inner corner pop for both palettes, I'm going to go into my Revolution Shook highlighter palette and just grab an inner corner pop right quick. I'm going to use the lightest shade in here and place that in both inner corners. Okay, you guys, so I finished my eyeliner and mascara, added a little bit of blush to give my face a little bit of color, but this is the eye looks for both sides. The colored rain and power side and the color pop side. I don't know, you guys. I know we can't really say that the It's My Pleasure is a dupe because... It was out first, first of all. It is quite a bit cheaper, less than half the price with this being 29 and this being 12. If you already have this, I would say you really don't need the Colored Rain. Now, the Colored Rain palette oh, is bomb, you guys. The quality on this is amazing. Is it worth the $29? Absolutely. Absolutely worth the $29. So my thoughts on... The ColourPop It's My Pleasure is for $12. This is a bomb palette. You are getting a real good deal, a real good steal, and some great quality with this ColourPop $12 nine pan palette, okay? <laughs> and when they have their sales, you can get it for like $9.50, okay? So if you can't afford the $29 Colored Rain palette, wait until you can get your hands on this It's My Pleasure if you don't already have it. If you do have it, you really don't need this. This is just if you just really want to get the Colored Rain formula and this color scheme because this palette is bomb. <laughs> it is it is bomb. I mean, these shadows basically blend themselves. And these duochrome shades, oh my goodness, you guys. I can't take anything away from this Colored Rain and Power palette because it's the bomb. Now... Yeah, all I can say is that <laughs> it's my pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> I'll let my eyes speak for themselves, okay? So you guys sound off in the comments below. I am dying to hear your thoughts on this palette comparison. I like calling it a showdown because, you know, it's a nice little title for it. But it's really just a comparison of two similar palettes of very different price ranges. When I do it, I really like to do it with ones that have a huge difference in the price range because some people, everybody can't afford these expensive palettes or these higher end palettes, but they really want to create the same type of look or get the same color scheme. So anyways, enough of that, you guys. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me to do this palette comparison showdown, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!